Moments ago, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau publicly apologizing for a series of racist photos and a video showing him wearing dark face makeup. That video shows Trudeau in the early 90s. It was obtained by CNN partner Global News. A reporter received the video from a source within Canada's Conservative Party. Now, Trudeau, of course, is part of the Liberal Party. National elections are just weeks away. The photo that ignited all of this is this one you see here, taken in 2001. That was published by Time Magazine. This is from a yearbook at the school where Trudeau was teaching at the time. He was dressed as Aladdin at an Arabian Nights themed party at that private school where he was a teacher. <clears throat> the other that has surfaced, high school yearbook photo. This was obtained by CNN partner CTV, which shows Trudeau portraying African-American civil rights activist and actor Harry Belafonte in a school play. Today, Trudeau saying he realizes he has deeply hurt people. I recognize that uh, it is something absolutely unacceptable to do. Uh, and yeah, I, I appreciate calling it makeup, but it was blackface. Uh, and that is just not right. It is something that uh, people who live with the kind of discrimination uh, that far too many people do because of the color of their skin, uh, or their history, or their origins, or their language, or their religion, uh, face on a regular basis. And uh, I didn't see that from the layers of privilege that I have. Althea Raj is Ottawa Bureau Chief for HuffPost Canada and the author of Contender, the Justin Trudeau story, uh, with me now. What's the reaction right now in Canada? <laughs> Well, I think it's too early to say at the door is what real people are, are thinking, but definitely uh, the Liberal leader's caucus has been shocked, uh, surprised, deeply disappointed with their leader. The opposition parties have jumped all over this uh, as proof of what they've been saying for months, sometimes years, that Justin Trudeau is not as advertised, that he says he is one thing, he's a progressive, he's a feminist, he's a champion of diversity, but really behind the scenes, he's actually somebody different and that he lacks a judgment to be the leader. And so I think uh, what we saw yesterday really kind of helps support the opposition's arguments. Um, and, and, and that is, uh, you know, we were talking a little bit last hour, but especially for, you know, for people in the U.S. who may not be as familiar with him, you've covered him for years, uh, really documenting his, his rise to power here. It does beg the question of a man who has really put himself out there as the champion of everyone, right? I am this woke individual um, attending multiple events, uh, you know, really trying to empathize with so many different people who make up Canada. What does this do to his standing? I mean, does this, it's one thing to hear it from the opposition, but, you know, from actual Canadians who are going to be voting, who don't want to maybe look at this through a political lens, this is a departure from what we've seen. Yeah, and it goes to the question of trust, right? We're in an age where we all want authentic leaders. Is he who he says he is? Um, I think we'll we'll find out if voters uh, really make a decision at the ballot box on October 21st uh, based on this issue. And the fact is that a lot of the uh, racialized communities in Canada are in the suburbs. They're around Toronto. They're around Vancouver. And they live in swing ridings that really decide which way the election goes, if it's a liberal government or a conservative government. I think the other question is that uh, this really doesn't support Justin Trudeau's brand. And so how will he be seen internationally? That was a question that he ducked at his press conference. Mm -hmm. You know, will partners want to associate with him? Will he be, you know, the cool kid on the block? Will Melania Trump want to go in for a kiss? Or will he be, you know, shoved to the sides and like, oh, you're kind of a pariah on the global stage? Will, will that affect Canada's ability to get things done with international partners? Um, and then there's the whole question of just like, him as a person, and we know voters want to connect with their leaders. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like if people thought they were buying granola and they opened the box and they found Fruit Loops, and now he is apologizing for having acted like a Fruit Loop. But are you ready to forgive him? And I think that today it was a very fulsome apology, much more, um, mm -hmm. I would say, honest than what we saw yesterday. Is that enough? Or will we be talking about this for the next four weeks?